Okay, kids, just going on a breakdown. So far, I got the air cleaner out the way, so that I could get all this off this valve cover. Uh, got the there's a rollover bar that goes across here, the bolts here and here uh, that I already removed. I moved this is for your uh, what do you call it your uh, cruise control. So I got that pulled up, up, tied up, out of the way so that we can reach that valve cover right there. What I need to do is get both valve covers. I also got your shroud and your electric fan pulled out and out of the way. All the fluids drained. I uh, did want to point out as I got closer that there was a water pump leak. You can see it right there. So good thing we got a water pump because I don't want to put this motor back together with a nice engine with faulty accessories so I already broke the bolt loose for the harmonic balancer I'm getting ready to pull that off with my new tool uh, that's the plug hanging down for the electric fan there's our oil filter getting ready to pull that off uh, gotta take this off you can see the bolts in there ready to have access to so they can pull off the power steering and you can see that it's leaking there, so I'll have to pull that plug, reseal it, put it back in. There's the other valve cover that has to be removed. So uh, I'm going to start getting to work on this and start pulling some pieces off. And the next time you see my video, uh, you should see more uh, removed. First, we're going to get this belt off. So let's proceed to do that. Okay, with this, we're going to put it on this 15 millimeter bolt. Uh, that's the way to tighten it. Oh, that's to loosen it fully. So I guess it does go that way. Uh. Let me uh, do it with two hands. Okay, just slipped it off the water pump real quick. And we can take the belt off. We're gonna hang the belt up so it's not damaged or anything. Next, we are going to, let me see, pull off the tensioner. And the power steering unit is gonna lay over here. Uh, let me tighten up this. Uh, the plug for the radiator. Okay, I'm gonna start taking more pieces off and I'll come back to you. Okay, just to give you a brief description of what I did already, I already took this uh, uh, belt tensioner off of the serpentine belt. I disconnected the oil pressure sensor and unhooked it from this bolt. There was another hook that was here that brought this cable over that way so it didn't get hung up. I took the power steering off, 13 millimeter bolts, all three of them. I bagged them in a power steering bolt bag. Um, let me see what else. I took the alternator off. These two are 15 millimeters. This is a 13 millimeter. Uh, and I bagged those into a bag marked uh, alternator bolts. Uh, over there you can see where I disconnected the fuel line. Yet I used a, a disconnect tool. This is what it looks like inside the fuel line. It's got four little tabs that when you shove that tool in there, it pushes them outward so it'll unhook. Those little tabs get uh, caught up on that ring right there. Um, I started disconnecting this uh, oil vapor hose, trying to get it off over there. Uh, disconnect the power booster, put the hose over there. Power booster connected. Uh, yeah. Oh, right there, see that? That's where the power booster hose connects to. So now we're gonna take the throttle body uh, AC compressor, lay it to the side, pull the rest of this so oil vapor hose, and uh, then I guess we'll go next to the thermostat housing. We'll disconnect that so all the water drains out of the block and then uh, go towards the heater hoses, unclamp them there, 
pull that piece out from that bolt and uh, disconnect them from the back of the firewall. Get those up out of the way. I have to get all that out of the way to get to these valve covers. Real important. Okay. Just wanted to make a point on how I'm taking off the compressor. The compressor has 15 millimeter bolts. There's one here. And if you look here how that bracket set up, just wanted to get it on video. Uh, we got these two bolts holding the timing cover and the upper uh, AC compressor bracket. And now we're going to lay that out the way. Apologies, I should have mentioned there was a 13 millimeter bolt right here on the back of the AC. Just wanted to point that out so that you didn't break your AC compressor. Just like the alternators coming out from the side, upper side. So uh, I went ahead and added that to the bag. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me focus. There we go. Okay. Had to disconnect the AC unit. The AC unit hoses go right across the top of this valve cover. Has to go. We're going to have to uh, re dump. Uh, uh, Freon into the system and uh, but we'll just get it serviced uh, if you buy two cans of Freon they're 54 54.99 times two that goes up to like 120 bucks almost with tax and uh, but I got a buddy that'll reservice the AC system for 100 bucks flat so it's actually cheaper on the Freon than what you would if you would buy it at AutoZone okay we also took the heater hoses out Pull those out totally out of the way. Now you can see how much of the front of the motor that we're going to be working with, which is good. All this has still got to come off. Next, we're going to be pulling off the water pump and we're going to leave the bolts. We're going to use this old water pump as a template, leave the bolts in it. They're all 13 millimeter. Uh, when we put the new water pump, we'll be pulling the bolts one at a time out of the old water pump and sticking them in the new water pump in its proper spaces. Uh, we just took the the hose that went from this side to this side of the intake. Uh, we're going to start pulling the ignition coil plugs. And I'm not sure, but I think I might be able to leave the injection system in it to pull those valve covers. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll let you know here in a few, couple more updates. Uh, next, we're going to do the water pump. Okay, got the water pump off. This water pump, I guess, was creating a, a deal called electrolysis, and it's totally eating up the surface of the water pump. So what we're gonna do is, once we got this timing cover off, we're gonna wash it up real good, uh, smooth that out, and sand it down as much as we can to where it's as smooth as possible. And then we're just gonna reinforce it with silicone. We're gonna use black RTV Ultra Black Permatex. So that's uh, pretty much the best uh, silicone you can use and it'll, it's kind of like a form of gasket and uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, next we're going to pull out the harmonic balancer and the oil fill neck. It unbolts from right here, it's 10 millimeter screws. This hose is connected to it but I'm going to leave that on and disconnect it from the intake over there. You can see where it turns left and uh, disconnect these uh, connectors and hoses and we're gonna pull off the auto body next. And uh, we're just gonna shrink it down as much as possible so we can sneak those valve covers right out of there. Uh, we're gonna pull the timing cover off first so that the valve covers we can pull them out. Well, I don't think that'll work, pull them out to the front because uh, those rocker assemblies kind of sticking up. Okay, I'll show you how it goes. First, we're gonna take the filler neck off Disconnect it over there, take the harmonic bouncer off, then the front timing cover. And remember, we're going to leave the bolt in the front timing cover as a template. I'm going to try to find some little plastic ties so that I can tie them from behind it so they don't come forward. And uh, that way everything stays exactly where it's at. And I just, and it's a quicker reassembly process when you do it that way. Uh, that way you ain't got to figure out and remeasure the, the holes of where these bolts go. And as you see, that as I'm taking it off in layers, you can see where the leftover bolts are. There's one, two, three, four down there, uh, five. There's four in the bottom for the oil pan. Uh, six, seven, 
boots in here somewhere. Yeah, that's why we gotta clean it up a little bit, find the rest of these bolts. Alrighty, we'll come right back to you. My mistake, those are eights, not tens. Okay, just got the harmonic balancer off. Got it pulled all the way out. Got to use my cool new tool over here. Got this online for $39.99, which is a hell of a deal because to rent it at AutoZone, it's $180. And they don't even carry the correct one. Uh, so, that's a cool little tool to have. What it does is it, see these slots right here? There, there, and here. Not these in, inside ones, the ones that are more higher. You grab there, and then the claw just pulls it out. This is what it looks like. So that claw just locks on it like so and starts dragging it out. Cool, first time I used it. And I uh, work on a lot of neons and different other Chryslers and stuff, and that's a good tool to have to pull it out. I haven't had one, I'm always renting it. So, next, uh, we'll pull that neck, filler neck off. Okay, just take the filler neck off, and look what I already see. I see a piece of something. That uh, looks like some kind of dried up silicone that didn't dry up very well, or something that got melted. We'll see that piece, see what that is. Okay, I'm gonna unplug the computer right here. There's some locking tabs on the top. All you do is just push them down, move them forward. Ah. See if I get a little tiny baby screwdriver. I guess they've been on there so long, I'm kind of jammed up in there. There's that one. They go in the blue trash can, baby. Yeah. If you look in there, there's nothing but cardboard in there. Then you push down. And pull. Ah, oh, there it goes. Down and pull. Down and pull. Then we're just going to unlatch it from the car body like this. What, baby? What is it? It's on the side over there. Okay, like so, that way we can tie it up over there like so, up and out of the way from the valve cover. Okay, we'll come back when we got it all tied up and out of the way and the valve cover loose and pulled off. Hey, we've got the valve cover off. <laughs> We're examining this. If you can look down there, this is where the timing chain rattles at. See how loose that is? Just sagging down there. As soon as it starts, it tightens up and slaps up against this guide. I don't see anything broken yet, but it looks like it could be the attention or failure, but we won't know until we got the front cover off. So we're getting that off next. Okay, that's what it looks like with the timing cover off. And it is the right bank uh, timing chain failure. I mean, a uh, timing chain tensioner failure. As you can see, is over here is nice and tight. But that's where the slop is. So that's what's failed. All right. Now we know what the failure is. I'll make a part two as on reinstalling everything.